One ted up. Wilder has found one ted to that middle centre. Head bump here crosses the line and it's P4 for the Dutchman. 3.6, just a few hundred shy of Wilder. Here comes Wilder coming towards the Pulsman corner. Bit of traffic in his way, but he's good out of the way. Now to the final corner we go. Let's see what lap time it is. Is it going to be pole? No, it's not. It's P2. And it's a massive margin as well. Three tens between total P's and Wilder. We are away for round 11 of the Austrian Grand Prix. Seymour Game has got a bad start there. He's going to get compromised by Head Bob Pierre. Head Bob Pierre is going to go down the inside. No, he's not. Seymour Game acclaims third place. Nathan JB is side by side with Head Bob Pierre as they make their way down to straight now. Walter settles in behind Total Peas. Walter did go for the move down there to turn one. But here we are, two abreast down the straight as we make our way down into turn four now. Head Bob Pierce. Claims the inside line. Ferg gets out of shape. Chiruvisa takes back P6 away from Ferg. Ferg is going to go three wide with the both half tires to make contact. Mark spun. And Mark's hit the wall. And is he out of the race? I wonder. He got squeezed in there by his teammate and CMO Ferg. As Head Bompier is behind Rudy. In fact, Rudy got past him. And here comes Malta on Total Peas. Malta is now the race leader as he. As Total P's will get DRS again. Can he get a good exit coming out of turn three? DRS open there. Will he use a bit of ERS to try and uh, close in? No, he doesn't. He's going to save it up and try and go for it again later in this race. Save the car. You can see the tyres started to. Here comes Total P's then. Making a move very early on Wilder. And here he is then. Back up into P1 in turn three. Will Wilder try and do the switchback move? Try and get DRS and ERS. Get a better exit than him? No, he doesn't. But will he use the ERS daddy straight now to get re overtake Total P's? No, he stays behind. So it's his turn to try and save the battery. Marginal gap. And set oh, to two. Friggin', uh, I think that oh, that's a massive uh, crash. And that's going to bring out a safety car. And I think now we're going to see everybody diving into the pits. Anyways, he controlled over safety car restart. He has to... Uh, Make sure he doesn't break, accelerate, break, accelerate, and is his decision when to go? And is is it now? Yes, it is. Now it here we go then for the safety car restart. And who's got a good restart? Look at uh, Seymour Gamer behind Walter there. Will he make a move into turn one? He thought about it, but no, he doesn't. He stays behind Walter. Now he's vulnerable towards Rudy. Well, Total P is making move on AJ. He's got to really because of all the tyres. They don't want to get a hold up behind him as we make our way. He's going to go around the outside then. We see these two go side by side before, and Total Peas with a lovely exit gets past AJ. Now, will AJ fight back or will he give the position up to uh, Walter? He stays in P2 for the time being, but he might have to pull over towards his teammate because there's no point holding him up. And there we go, then. Here's the switch between AJ and Walter. Now, it's uh, AJ's job to defend. Oh, Seymour Gamer's hit the back of it. There's contact. Seymour Gamer has spun. That's a shame there for uh, Seymour Gamer. And here comes Jeroen Visser going down the inside of AJ. Also crucial for him to get past so we don't get a hold up behind him and lose connection between the top two. Because he's looking to try... Oh, he's got a, pe he's got a penalty. How's Jeroen Visser? I didn't really see him pick up a penalty. But uh, here comes Rudy on AJ. Down into turn four we go. Move's been done. And total P is Ice on night. Uh, down in P13 there. Something, might have, something must have happened to him. BT's retired. Like, uh, yeah, I saw Knight. I saw shouting in the background. There, I could hear him. Like what we saw with Indian Jesus after the first restart. Or are these medium tire runners going to have just a little bit more pace, being slightly fresh? But Walter, uh, leading away on the safety car, and uh, Jamie, take us through the restart. <laughs> AJ's got a three second time penalty already then, so what are he's doing down there in P14, he's right behind the real DC in P12, J-Law also picks up a three second time penalty, penalties galore around this track like he was back in Mexico, with Seymour Gamer picking up a lot of penalties down there, and he's picked up another one as well in P13, so we make our way down into turn three, anybody looking to make any overtakes, look at that, Rudy and J-Law going side by side, Rudy on those soft compound tires gets a much better exit, and that's Rudy's teammate Haas ahead of him. I meant Nathan, sorry. This is on a podium against Slimmer now. He's just picked up a penalty. But here goes Total Peas on Walter. And that's a good move there from Total Peas. Out breaks himself slightly. Here comes Ice Wall Knights retired in the pit lane. He's had enough. And Walter has DRS then on the back of Total Peas. Will he try and make a move down into turn four? Or will he wait and try and recharge the battery? Rudy's got a pest head bump here. Yeah? For P4, this could be a podium for Rudy. If he can keep this pace up, he's 1.6 seconds behind Jeru Visa. Um, I think there might be a little bit of damage on that uh, on that Aston Martin car here. 
Mercedes has retaken the lead off of Total P's. Back up into P1. These two are exchanging positions. This must be frustrating for Jeru Vizza. Knowing he can't get past, who is going to win this race? Will it be Total P's? Will it be Walter? Unlikely Jeru Vizza because he's got a three second time penalty on his shoulders. That's a Alpine. And there comes Walter. Back on the race lead for Jeru Vizza. Aston Martin, sorry, who spun his Indian Jeeves, I believe. Both Aston Martin's had a horrible race. But look at that, Walter's run out of ERS on the street. And here comes Total P's back for the race lead on uh, Walter. Jeru Vizza sitting in P3, absolutely frustrated. There's no way he can get past unless those two make a big mistake. Of course, a fine line to take there. You've got to, you, I mean, to, to quote Fernando Alonso, you got to leave space. Um, uh, but of course, if you're leaving just enough space, um, uh, that's definitely the tactic is now uh, Walter. Back ahead of Total P's, a yellow flag in Sector 1. I think that was Jime that had a moment um, um, as uh, he's going very slow on the exit of Turn 1. But uh, while during the lead of the race, oh, well, right as I say that, Total P's with the DRS going into Turn 4. He retakes the lead of the Grand Prix uh, here on lap 32. The corner once again uh, seems to be a bit, a bit of a kryptonite for Nathan here uh, this afternoon, this evening, as it's another spin. Uh, Walter, meanwhile, uh, retakes the lead of the race. Uh, we'll see if Total Bees can come back at him this time around once again. Looks like um, like we saw last lap, Total Bees, um getting the overtake done, going into turn four. So uh, once again, they're switching positions. Walter taking the lead, but just can't seem to hold on to it. And Rudy is in P4, looking pretty in there on those soft compound tires. Total Peace can see the flashing light on the back of Walter's car. And here he is there, they go side by side, but Total Peace back it out to get the DRS for the next straight which he has around the outside goes Total Peace DRS is enabled Walter does not have DRS he's going to be vulnerable if Jeruvis gets close to him and will Jeruvis go down the inside into turn 4 no he doesn't I'm surprised he go send it down the inside but bearing in mind he's got a 3 second time penalty so I don't expect it to do so Mark is going side by side with head bump here Mark's trying to go down the inside off the tree the tree stays in P6 there ahead of Mark and this looks like it's going to end like this with Rudy being on the podium. Rudy will take the podium if he doesn't get a three second time penalty. Jeruf is a car doing anything about it, of course. Head Bobby is still behind AJ. AJ up into P5, but he's got penalties on his name. Around the final corner, Total P's will come across the line to win the Austrian Grand Prix ahead of Walter. Jeruf will finish in fourth ahead behind of Rudy.